The current 2019 West Indies vs England series is shaping up to be a world-class event. With the Windies securing the first win against their English counterparts, organizers are rallying around the West Indies and seeking the full support of Caribbean nationals. Sulaj Alfred tells us more. The St. Lucia National Cricket Association held a press conference on January 29th to sensitize the public on the upcoming West Indies vs England series. With the collapse of England by the hands of West Indies in Barbados in Test 1, which saw the Windies winning by 381 runs, the organizers are touting an outstanding series in the making. This unprecedented win has solidified the England tour of the West Indies as one not to miss. Longtime cricket commentator Joseph Red Pereira noted that with the win and unknown second test outcome, many eyes will fall to the third test to be held in St. Lucia come February 9th to February 13th, 2019. And I think basically this is a great opportunity for St. Lucians to come out and watch England for the first time. Since England been playing test cricket in the West Indies since 1930-31, they have never played on St. Lucian soil, although English teams have been there. But this is an official test match at the Darren Sammy. And we've had a marvelous start to the series with West Indies surprising the world by beating England by such a large margin. We don't, do not know what Antigua may bring. It may bring a draw. It may bring England bouncing back. It may bring a West Indies win. And therefore, when they come here, it could be a, a very, very important clincher. Operations manager at the St. Lucia National Cricket Association, Brian Calix, announced that affordability in ticket prices will serve as a means of inclusiveness and will allow many to patronize the matches. Tickets are reasonably priced. Uh, for the first time in a long time, the players' pavilion will be premium seats. Um, we'll be going at, at $100 uh, per day, 100 EC that is, per day. Whereas um, the Johnson Charles uh, and Castries and, and Grosley, the, the upper section of, of that stand uh, for the local buyers, it will be as, as much as 68, um, EC, 68 EC dollars. Whereas the lower part of those stands uh, will be at uh, 48, um, 48 um, EC dollars um, uh, if, if you need to get in there. The grounds, yes, the grounds will be utilized as well. Um, patrons, locals, uh, they, can, they can get in for as low a price as, as $20. England's test captain is Joe Root, while the West Indies cricket team is currently captained by Jason Holder. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Solaj Alfred. Leon Bryn of Denry is the grand prize winner of a home makeover valued at $15,000 in Digicel's 2018 Christmas promotion dubbed The Gift of More. Bryn, who has been a Digicel customer for more than eight years, was all smiles when he was officially presented with his winnings, which included household items and a complete paint job. Bryn was automatically entered into the Christmas promotion and became eligible for the grand prize after activating a Digicel Freedom LTE seven-day plan during the promotional period. The Denry man's house was outfitted with a brand new three-piece sofa set a smart TV, a washing machine, a stove, a refrigerator, curtains, bedroom set and bedding, a Samsung Galaxy tablet, G7 smartphone and a paint job to the exterior and interior of his new home. Now that's what I call a prize. Developing a sense of self-esteem, etiquette and service in young men and women from the Grosley area is the drive behind the Grow Well Foundation. The foundation on Wednesday accepted a check from the Sandals Foundation, which looks to assist the program with scholarships, uniforms and school supplies. Into its eighth successful year as an organization, Grow Well Incorporated is a pioneer in developing successful youth golfers in the Grosley area. The organization's participants and members gathered at Sandals Golf and Country Club on Wednesday 30th January to solidify the continued support being received from the Sandals Foundation. Managing Director of Sandals Resorts in St. Lucia, Winston Anderson, says Sandals looks forward to the continued partnership with Growell. 
We have a check of 28,000 US dollars that we're presenting um, to them, um, which will cover a wide range of activities, um, but most important to help them in their development and the development of the program. And this, uh, this year is just one of the initiatives that we've taken on. We're, we've taken on many others, um, cricket, the under-19, um, tennis, and the list goes on um, because we're committed as an organization to continue working in the communities that we operate, um, working in the communities that our team members live, but most importantly continue the development of youngsters and to help them becoming better human beings and be better able to contribute to society and the economy. 15-year-old Growell golf champion Kimani Thomas from the current secondary school says his experience in the program thus far has allowed him to develop into a more refined gentleman. They help me a lot. They help you socialize and your self-esteem builds up as time goes by. It's great because it opens up your mind and those kind of things. Golf shows you great etiquette and those things. So, like, if you it can help you follow rules and help you be obedient. Director of the Growell Junior Golf Program, Colleen Newman, expressed her appreciation for the continued support offered by Sandals Resorts. She says that the donation will help with the holistic development of participants. In the Sandals Foundation, when they talked, when they first met with us, they were so pleased with what we do, not only for golf, not only for the golf children, not only to bring them to be superb golfers, but more important that we take care of the total child. We have we try to have golf scholarships, we try to help them at home and at school. We even attend their schools if, and talk to their teachers if needed because we want the golfers to have great self-esteem and we want them to be future productive members of their community. So all this takes money, especially golf, especially scholarships, and we're scrambling. So it was like a Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's, Easter gift all wrapped in one together to get the announcement of the Sandals Foundation donation. The sponsored monies will go towards uniforms, awards, transportation, coaching, and facilitation to international tournaments. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Solaj Alfred. Thank you, Solaj. You're watching the Hot 7 Nightly News. Up next, sports news with Tennyson Glasgow.